Hell no. <laughs> what was that? Hell no. Was that? It was a snipe. It was a snipe. Hey, what's going on? Sit with the Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. Sometimes that's a little jarring. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> but I, I take it. I'm trying to introduce. I know. Like, get the full blown yeah. introduction. Beauty knows no bounds. There we go. All hey. that good stuff. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us. This is going to be Atlanta <laughs> episode. I think it's six or seven. Seven. We are seven. on episode seven. I don't want to see it end. Oh my gosh, we are. We are absolutely oh. heading in that direction. But before we get melancholy, make sure you hit that subscription button, and of course, uh, give us those thumbs up because. That's how the people know you are digging what we are giving you. So, with that being said, let's get started. <laughs> oh, we need... Thanks, Thanks FX. FX. I'm sure. Hey, hey. Sade. Hey. hey, love me some Sade now. Hey, <laughs> that's how you start your Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Youngins be like, who's Sadie? I know. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I hear she's making a comeback. Woo! I hope so. They be having some interesting adventures together. They, yeah. They should maybe slow down a little bit. <laughs> Look at his face. It's supposed to be eternal, so. Black folks in the woods. I don't know. But I think we can. I feel like a Sasquatch is gonna jump out. Campground. Oh. Oh. Mm. Meeting some random person off in the no. side of the woods. Hey, Ern. <laughs> welcome, welcome. You made it. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm going to ask you to come down here at five miles per hour. And, you know, there's kids or dogs running around, sometimes oh. deer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so when you pass this road, just look on the other side for signs. Need anything? Don't hesitate to tolerate me or my wife. Thank All right, you. thank Bye. you. Oh, Happy Airbnb? Birthday. Airbnb, maybe? That's what I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. It, it seems Very like. Nice. You remember yeah. that movie, The Hunt? Uh, or The Hunted, The Hunt? Where the people were hunting the actual people for sport? Ah, uh, I do remember that. That's what it feels like to me. What do you think are the chances that that guy is going to kill us in our sleep? Ah, I'm glad they talk about it. That's Honestly? the thing I love about Atlanta. That part never disappoints. I got a really. Awesome tent. It's like the most expensive one in REI. That means something. The guy is, was like, this is the best one they had. That like, means uh, he's missing something. I think it's like a 12 person. <laughs> like uh, a 12 person. For how many people? 12 person. And you can split the rooms and it has like a porch too. That's glamping. Be freezing. No, you cuddle. What? Because we don't have enough body heat to insulate the... Space. It'll be fine. You cuddle. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It'll I'm, be fine. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. No, I no, didn't no. Know. It looks really nice. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, no reason. We're gonna, I'm gonna be, no reason at all. It's kind of. Huh? What's going on with her? He's a good one. He asked. She's just tired. <laughs> if you had a little girl, you would Should ask too. Hey, I'm an equal opportunity daddy. Oh no. <laughs> she'd be like, no, she little butt over here and come help us make this tent. No, she'd be like, no, daddy. You'd be like, okay, sweet pea. <laughs> uh oh. Somebody's gonna be staring at her uh, from across the thing. Is the beef jerky Sasquatch? No, it's that dude hunting. Oof. I would hate to have to build a 12 person tent. That would not be fun. So that came up in the old school, back when they didn't have the strings and the poles, and you yeah. had to like I'll find each individual one. Yeah. So, have you thought more about LA? LA? Remember, I told you Atlanta, maybe they're going to do LA. Oh, mm -hmm. something's not right. <laughs> you could tell. <laughs> Are you missing a pole? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what the heck quite is that? Look right. Quite. What do you think? They don't look right at all. I don't see the porch. <laughs> Which room is? Who's Daddy gonna sleep in? <laughs> you can sleep outside. Oh. Outside. Oh. I'll get my toothbrush. <laughs> sleeping outside? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> like nope. Not with an eight percent chance that that dude is gonna massacre us. Right. 
Is that a hat like yours? I think it is. Oh, yep. <laughs> but, hey, I don't know. We the best hats. <laughs> Sun hats. We can't cross I it. I think we can, we, can, we can make it across here. I think there's a lot of laws underneath there. No. We go hop to that. Not water. Rock. No. If it was just me, yeah, but not the baby. No. You can cross that? No. no. We're just going to get wet. It's too high. I'll, we'll get wet up to here, but she can get on my shoulder. No. That is dangerous. Like, <laughs> She'd be all that. that. That's all going to collapse. That is dangerous, though. And you don't know how deep it is. I'd be like, you go ahead and try. We'll, we'll wait over yeah, here. Ain't nobody crossing that. That little girl ain't crossing that. I mean, yeah, yeah. he said on her show on yeah. his shoulders. No. I don't know what random abandoned building that was. Right. right? I wonder where they are. You enjoying your birthday, Lottie? It's like I I'm not here. Like my birthday. Did she say I never liked it? Since you? when? Mm. What kind of six year old doesn't enjoy their birthday? Don't worry, we're gonna go catch fish later, and then tonight we're gonna try to catch a snipe. A snipe? I remember snipe, snipe hunting as a kid. Yeah, we're gonna go snipe hunting. That's yeah. the title of What's the a snipe? episode. What's it's a snipe? this really rare creature. Yeah. It's nearly extinct. <laughs> She's explain it. Oh, okay. And it only comes out at night when the moon is out. And it's really crazy <laughs> long and it has red eyes, but only the coolest and the smartest can catch it. <laughs> Did you ever catch it? No, but maybe with your help I can. I wanna catch it. That's funny. Yeah, we're gonna Actually try. Go in there with this. Never heard of it. <laughs> I wonder if that's Are just a southern our thing. Daughter? It must be, cause I... You don't know what a snipe plant is? No. It's like no. a tradition. I did it at Girl Scouts. No, I did it when I was a Boy Scout. Girl Scouts? Well, that's why. It's got to be a Scout. Yeah, I don't know that. I did I've it for just the summer when I was eight. I didn't like being trapped camping with people I didn't vibe with, so. Oh, was that a <laughs> a slight? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, she's been a little, yeah. a little backhanded yeah, compliment. A little bit. Backhanded yeah, help. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. You're caught up in an ivy patch, and then your whole camping trip is ruined. Oh, poison ivy. There is good ivy, too. Uh, soror sorority ivy. <laughs> I have a feeling she's either going to get lost or snatched up, and it's making me very nervous. Very nervous. When you, when you first hear snipe hunt, mm -hmm. it sounds like a racist like <laughs> oh <God>. mob. <laughs> like, let's get the snipe. <laughs> He's taking our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lottie. Wow. Oh, no. You maybe put him down. Oh. Yeah, put him down. Yeah, maybe put him uh. down. I don't want to, though. Lottie. Oh. This is nature, OK? <laughs> that toad is I know this little girl. Her name is uh, Shoddy. <laughs> and, Shoddy. And um, <laughs> she has a dad named Schmad. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. Is that why I'm so fat? I eat ice cream like every day. <laughs> she looking like, at him like that. I was wondering that too. I can't I really read her face. Me neither. They right. came prepared, didn't they? This is probably on the property. If it's an Airbnb, they probably were like, oh, there's also a canoeing amenity. So peaceful. Oh my gosh. Can you scream on Grandpa over here? Yeah. Are you just missing them or you wish they were doing your birthday with you? Both. Remember, oh. she lived with oh. them while they were off mm. in Amsterdam That's and stuff. Right. I can't remember the last time I've seen any project that just showed black people camping. You I'm don't really sure. see that a lot. Am I starving? I'm sure there has Where been, but maybe incredible. not the whole episode. It's really good. I used to love a fire-roasted hot dog. I think we should talk more about L.A. Here, take the pillowcase, put it on the ground, and open it up. Ooh, that's creepy. Give <laughs> oh my God. Just one. Ooh -wee. You need to find a stick here. Is this knife gonna be a big, big brown bear? <laughs> you're gonna take your foot. You're gonna stomp on the pillowcase, trap the snipe in there, and then you're gonna hit it on the head. Okay? Oh, you gotta after kill she, it. After she just yeah. got done talking about being nice to the frog. Yeah, I was like, you gotta kill Good it. Good job. <laughs> I think it's fun. Maybe just stun it. Where are you going? Oh. Maybe you have to hunt the snipe alone. Oh, no. There's too many people around. The snipe's not going to come. Yep. <laughs> Don't oh. worry. We're right over there. Oh, no. Kay? No. Not okay. 
<laughs> no, I'm not leaving my six-year-old in the woods by themselves at night in the dark with bears. Can I ask you a question? Only if you What's want to so know the great answer. about Atlanta? That you can't leave it behind. What? <laughs> I got the snipe. Oh, something is in there. Uh, what did it look like? Long with red eyes. And I hit it with a stick when I caught it. Does she have a snake in there? Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> um, She's like, whoa. Listen, yeah. When you I hear count to three. You hear it growling? You're going to put the lamp down very slowly, drop the bag, and run to mommy, okay? Okay. What is in there? You hear okay. it growling? One, <laughs> okay. two, three. Come, 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 come. Look at Ern. He got that. Hold this. Ah, no! Go over there. What are you doing? Why would you go to the bag, homie? <laughs> what, is he going to hit it? He's going to hit it. What is in there? What's in the bag? A snipe. This is fitting for Halloween. Isn't it? Oh! oh. 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 Hell no! <laughs> What was that? Hell what no. Was that? It was a snipe. It was a snipe. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> <laughs> she got a s'mores? No, it's just yes. oh. the, 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 Don't do that. <laughs> I feel you on that. I like to be sung to. Yeah, not all the time. Sometimes I you just do. want to be like, yo, give me a birthday handshake. Oh. A birthday hug. You Some birthday dad. You don't want me to sing to you anymore? Of course you can. <laughs> oh, it's cold in the mountains at night. His teeth are chattering. You hear it? Maybe it's your teeth. Chatter. Might be the uh, Snipe's teeth. No, it's his teeth. Maybe. I'm so good. <laughs> I think you should just get in with us. This is really sad. He's really outside. outside or if she's saying get in the um the same um sleeping bag for body heat mm -hmm. if i didn't want to be alone i wouldn't have to be i could find someone you know someone new but it, it's not about that then what is it about is it like a a co-parenting arrangement no mm -hmm. I, I want us to be a family Lottie. I mean, she's fucking amazing. She's the physical manifestation of what happens when we get together. I mean, she's smart. She's kind. She's sensitive. And she's intuitive. She's the best of both of us. Parts of both of us. I'm just. I'm fighting for you, fam. You know me. I don't fight for anything. Ben, look at me. I love you. I can't just back up my whole life because you love me as Lottie's mom. I've dreamed about you every night since Amsterdam. Wow. Oh my gosh, the tears. Oh. I do see you as a woman. I still want you. I desire you, man. When I think about the fact that, that you are also the mother of my child, I could just fucking burst. I've never felt that way about anything. It's a little... Kanye being passionate, but I do know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> he look a little crazy. A little, looks, uh, just a touch. Looks like he's fighting. Yeah. Will you go to LA with me? So we can be a family. We can be a real family. Yeah, I'm 
I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Back in the warmth again. I love you too. I know. Nothing ever goes as planned, though. So I wonder <laughs> what, uh, what that's going to look like. She ended up on the whole uh, other side of the tent. How they switch off. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she, There had to be some crawling over somebody. They're so slammed. Where are they going to be when they get out of this tent? Oh, okay. Ooh, I had a feeling. I, you know how they like to go to random universes and stuff or alternate worlds. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is happening? I'm still looking for the snipe. <laughs> that snipe has not uh, left the premises yet. It's supposed to rain today. Ugh. What? Mud. One. Now. <laughs> Ugh. Leave it. We'll, we'll get another. I mean, he's rich, so it don't really Baby, matter. Well, let's go. Yeah, but let's you're not supposed to car. leave stuff at the Airbnb like that. There's that Sade again. Mm. I'm good at forgiving. Two different songs. Yeah. I used to love this one. I love, love both. And hate you. <laughs> Cause I have tried. <laughs> yeah, that's my jail. I still I really, really, really love you. you. <laughs> love is stronger than pride. Great song to close the episode out. Episode. Oh, she had a smile on her birthday. Ah, uh, oh, that song gives me chills. I have it. That's crazy. I think yeah, I do have yeah. a little bit. I think it was the smile for me though. Uh, I found myself realizing that uh, Atlanta makes me flinch. You it know? makes you flinch. Yeah, because I always think something is something jarring is going to happen right okay, I, I always feel like what's the like like for what's instance coming? when you said at the in the end you're like are they gonna open the yeah the tent and they're gonna be in like some other world yeah, or whatever I it is and i'm looking in the trees with snakes Me too. And, i'm like somebody's gonna take the shot you know what i'm saying somebody's gonna go it's like something has gotta happen right like atlanta just has you always with your guard up you're right okay you know? you're right and this episode was not that yeah. You know, so I almost want to see it again just so I can not be under siege. Yeah, have like the anxiety in your stomach yeah. the entire time. Yeah, yeah. you know, so I, <clears throat> because, you know, what, what we do with this when we do in our reviews and stuff, you know, we we were like hyper aware of like a lot of things. But this several. Yeah. But this just isn't that episode for that. Mm -hmm. It's just. Let's talk about this relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, for two characters that I think we've we've over the course of four seasons have grown to like love and appreciate, and we do see that there's still an unresolved issue between that relationship. And this was the episode that we think may may resolve it. What would you feel about all of this? Well, it's funny because I feel you like from the very beginning when mm -hmm. we saw the man who was the Airbnb host. Yeah, I was like. This man gonna kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's he's, what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna hunt somebody. It's not a snipe hunt. And then they even made it so, like, you know, Van. I mean, Ern. Sorry, Ern was like, "Hey, you know, snipe makes me think of you know a racist group coming to hunt some people. You snipe." <laughs> and so in my head, I'm like, "Oh, that man at the beginning is yep. about to snipe." Right, right. right. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I like made it this whole thing <laughs> that it was not, which I'm grateful that it wasn't. Yeah. Um, but even when Lottie was by herself hunting snipe, I was like, "Somebody's gonna take that child, <laughs> get her out of the woods." Why is she in the woods by herself at night? Yeah. Um, but the turn that it took, I I obviously love and appreciate. Yeah. Because there is nothing like the vulnerability of somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I love um I love the lighting of that scene. I always really pay attention to how how black people are yes, lit. Yes, you do. Um, because it's <laughs> it's not a necessarily easy task if you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It is an easy task if you if you got somebody that knows what they're doing and 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 the way that our skin 
can can contrast with the environment or blend with the environment. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it can do things make the um, make the the moment very just amazing, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And the tent when you get a chance to see, especially on, on Urn, more so than anybody else, because mm-hmm. half of his face is like gone within the shadows. Mm-hmm. But then, and he's a dark skinned brother like me, but the other half that's in, even though he's in with that full, all black, black ground, there's still like that presence of him being there and in and, and a field of darkness, of uncertainty and all of that. And I think like that, that choice in order to light him in that way and still have his dark skin shine was very telling within that moment because he did feel alone and isolated in this decision, not knowing what, 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 how it was going to end, being half in, half out and stuff. And there were kind of moments where even like he did these things with his face where to me, it looked like he looked a little crazy, but then I think you do have to be a touch crazy to be in love. It takes a, a different kind of courage to be vulnerable and be all in. And he just kind of like just opened up his chest and let his heart just be right in front of her and stuff. So between the context of the, of the, of the lighting, the, the way the scene was set up and, and um, um, Donald Glover just really doing a really good job of being vulnerable. I think that was probably like my favorite moment of the episode. Yeah. Not only that, like his, um, he actually had the tear, the single. Well, it dropped yeah. twice. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, dropped the the he dropped the Denzel. He dropped the Denzel. dropped the Denzel, but it was on the the shadowed side. The shadow side. Yeah. Ah. So it's kind of like, you know, he's trying to be vulnerable, but he's still trying to kind of hide, you know, right. that side of himself. I'm very proud of the way that they had Van expressing and being very open about how she felt about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, in her thoughts about it. Um, and you know, she never did. She didn't say when she was giving you know, telling him what she thought about it, that she didn't love him. She never said that, right. you know what I mean? And, and I appreciate that because I'm sure, obviously she says at the end that she does and I'm sure that she does, but I like that she addressed all of her fears about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. she could have just been like, no, I'm not going. Or yes. you go, I don't want to go. Or she could have, you know, um, just said, I don't want to, even though she probably really did, but she had all these fears behind it. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that they at least addressed that. Yeah. Yeah. They did some, they did some interesting stuff too, regarding their relationship as a whole from the time they start. Uh, Ern is driving a little too fast. She's warning them. She's Mm -hmm. like, no, you're kind of moving too fast. Mm -hmm. Um, Then they get there and the guy's like, yo, you need to slow down. Mm -hmm. Um, With when Ern brings out the tent and Mm -hmm. is like, Hey, this is this great thing. It's all room for everybody. And she's like, yeah, but you know, it's gonna, gonna be, be cold. it's gonna be cold. Crafty, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh when they get to the when they get to the river. creek in the river, and she's like, Yo, I'm not finna to have my baby on your shoulders because you know the water's rushing by. That's that's super dangerous. And for me, it set the tone of Earn, he makes decisions quick without necessarily thinking them through. Mm-hmm. And it set the tone for this same decision of like, are you gonna come out here to California with me? Mm-hmm. He's making a, a decision quickly without necessarily thinking, thinking it, it through. through. And he poses this question to to Van and Van, who, from what we've seen so far, is is a lot different than when she was when, when she was in Europe and she's thinking mm-hmm. this through. She was spur of the moment, all in Europe, mm-hmm. you know. And now, especially now, when you're considering that that her daughter is going to be affected by all of this, you know, she's in full on mom mode, and she's like, "Well, before you talk about, let's just pack bags and head on over, you know, mm-hmm. three thousand, two thousand miles away. Mm-hmm. Let me let me address my concerns." Oh, yeah. You know, so she's kind of checking Earn again, even on the bigger picture. It's like, you need to slow down mm-hmm. so that we can talk about or I, I can address why I don't think this may or may not work. Or why I think you may be choosing this decision right. versus um, the reality of it. Going off of what you're saying, I feel like they balance each other mm-hmm. um, because, like you said, he is kind of like a risk taker and just, you know, doesn't always think before he acts mm-hmm. sometimes. Um, not always, but just sometimes. Right. Um, so I, I like the fact that it showed that, you know, she has some balance for him. And maybe that's kind of what he's afraid of of losing also. I mean, I know that he loves her, he wants his family and all of that. But right. maybe, you know, there's some fear in trying to figure it all out without having that balance. So the name of the episode is uh, The Snipe, Snipe Hunt. Hunt. And Snipe and when I was a I was a Boy Scout when I was a kid way back in the day. And that was like always the the trick that we played on the young on the young kids, the tenderfoots or whatever it is that, that we used to come in. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, sorry. I, I, know. <laughs> I, thought, I thought of Lord of the Rings when you said that. I, I was like, Tender foot. Foot. yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we we do the whole snipe hunt thing. We didn't do it exactly like that. The, the whole snipe hunt thing is really just like a mystical creature that doesn't mm-hmm. exist. Mm-hmm. And you have people who aren't as privy to that 
go out and look for it while the people that knows what's going on they play the joke and we run out and you wait till it's night because you make somebody stay in one spot rustle the bushes and Ooh. stuff like that make sounds that you know crazy. it's just a way to just terrify kids you know cruel kids were cruel back then i know but we've been introduced so much so that the name of this episode is called snipe hunt to trap something that doesn't exist and then come to find out it does exist. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out how we can connect the dots with that. And I'm challenging you all too, in the, uh, that's in the comments regarding how does that and, and the actual snipe really showing up or what we think is a snipe showing up actually like add or take away from, from the episode. The first thing that came to my mind, oh my gosh, is you know, um, the whole thing about black love, like not really existing. Right? Okay. Or That's like the black family not really existing. I believe it does, obviously, you know, I know it does, but I'm just saying, I know that there's like this perception sometimes um, outside of our community that the black family doesn't exist as a unit, right? right. Um, so maybe the lore of that and the fact that it does exist mm, with the snipe. That's really good. Yeah, I so, like that. So I think that, you know, he's like, oh, no, it does exist. And, you know, our children believe in it. Mm -hmm. And so much of that, you know, it, they made it a reality, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah because <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. Lottie who caught it. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you told me it was here and here it is. Yeah. Right. And and the innocence of children um, and just I that's what I feel like that was interpreted as right. for me. Yeah, you know what? That's such a good one. I don't want to add anything else to it. I, I like that explanation so much. Uh, yeah, I, I'd rather just, we'll just leave that on the table. Okay. All right, so then there was uh, the introduction to the bullfrog, right? You know, the, here's one thing that's real. We do know the bullfrog exists. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there's the snipe that, we, that is this mythical creature, and yeah. she caught both. Yeah. You know, um, one, she had to, you know, lot, not Lottie, but um, Van, Van was like, you got to let, let the... You know, bull let the bullfrog go. go. And she had like so much empathy for this bullfrog, this ugly thing that that she caught and was kind of like indifferent to it. And she was just like, hey, I got this thing, but I want to keep it. And she was like, no, you got to let it go. But yet when she's telling the story of the snipe, this myth mythical thing, and now I'm thinking about the mythical black relationship, mm -hmm. she was like, you got to catch it and then you got to beat it. Yeah, hit it over, <laughs> hit it over the head so yeah, it doesn't leave. Yeah, hit it over the head so it doesn't so leave. So it stays and it catches it. Oh my it. gosh. Well, you think about yeah. this, even the bullfrog, right? Uh -huh. You have to kiss a lot of frogs before uh, you find your prince, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, that's true. So, you know, there's the, the yeah, frog. Yeah, she's like, you got to let that go. Yeah. You know, let it go. Because, oh, my gosh, you're killing it yeah, today. Yeah, I know, right? This, oh this, this touched my her? soul. You it touched her? my heart. I could feel it. Oh. You know, and even um, where they were, where Van and um, Ern were at that point in the in the story of this, um, you know, realization that they do want to be together and love each other. Right. Um, you know, at that point, he just keeps asking her, you know, like, what's the deal? L.A., are you going to come? And she just, you know, she's like, no, you know, I think that you just don't want to be by yourself or do it alone and all this and then that's when the frog comes right mm -hmm. and so that's when it's like okay there's this other thing that's real and this is what it is but no it does exist you know yeah. what i mean this isn't just the way that we have to be perceived or how it is mm -hmm. like this bullfrog right. you know there is um a magical mythical yeah thing i did like that yeah. i like that man i'm gonna roll too. with that so there's uh environment plays a big part in everything too mm -hmm. as well you know mm -hmm. if you've been to georgia if you lived in the south especially in georgia it's very green it's very loud cicadas loud and of crickets and it's a lot of life yeah. right yeah. You, know, you, hear the, you hear the running water a lot during it, it. <sighs> um but there is something interesting that they did bring into the mix that's a little counter to the environment and that is like this old building, building this old brick building right mm -hmm. and to me it feels like that is like the relationship between Ern and and uh, and Van, that it was a structure that was there. It's no longer useful anymore per se. It's been abandoned, but yet, like there's green, gr all this green lushness and life that's still mm -hmm. surrounding, like this husk, mm -hmm. right? Well, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no. Well, I guess that's, that's kind of like what I, what I'm trying to say is just that it's like there's still life around this this structure that looks like it, it's been abandoned. Well, see, and for me, I do see it as that, but I also see it more as a foundation. Okay. Yeah, so they have this foundation okay. of love and, you know, a family, right? So mm. what do we do now to, is it going to grow? Is it gonna stay dilapidated and yeah. just eventually fade away? Mm. Um, or are we gonna use this foundation and build something? Mm. Um, okay, I'm with that. There, there's one more other thing that was that was interesting too, and that is when they were uh, fishing on the lake, mm. and Lottie was saying that she missed her grandparents. Yeah. Um, we, we you had said earlier, and what we've seen in the show is that Lottie was staying with her grandparents for at least during the time 
when <laughs> both her mom and dad yeah, were in the, yeah, Europe. <laughs> in the middle of a whole bunch of chaos <laughs> and she was left with a piece of what you were talking about regarding stability and foundation mm-hmm. with, with the grandparents. Mm-hmm. Um, and it feels to me like Lottie doesn't trust her parents in order to give her something grounded in foundation and they're, they're in a shaky boat in the middle of the in the middle of a lake in a place they don't really know you know and here she is and she's like this ain't stable to me mm-hmm. you know um where are my grandparents mm-hmm. so and then we kind of get the payoff at the very end when they're driving away and listening to shy day and then you see and then you see the smile mm-hmm. so i think she kind of like believes in this foundation that we that we were talking about yeah and remember if we if we do go back to the whole black family thing a lot of children are raised by their grandparents right you yes. know i mean yes perfect example you know what i mean mm-hmm. um so i think you know that that just shows that hey you know this is another aspect of it that a lot of people associate and that is very much a reality yeah and so even though they were on this boat i saw it as like the waters were still you know still still that's very true so you know even though the waters were still they were in this boat she was with her mom and her dad she's still like yo where are my grandparents mm. you know because they did provide that structure and well, i don't know if they're structure but you know i mean that stability while her parents were doing what they needed to do you know what i mean yeah um so she wasn't left on her own accord but mm-hmm. she still is like i don't know you know maybe my grandparents is the best situation for me yeah um yeah, I think, uh, and I think I, this has been one of one of my our more fun conversations regarding this episode because we're pulling a lot of stuff out from an episode that didn't really necessarily offer a whole lot as as compared to some of the other you things think, yeah. you would think, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I guess we can close it out with one more of, of the last thoughts that I had, and that is the leaving of the messed up tent. Mm. You know, it's kind of mm. like it feels like a um, like a cicada leaving its husk because you hear all the cicadas or a butterfly morphing out of its out of its cocoon. Mm-hmm. It's like the old version of them is being left there and and kind of like we're, we're, we're done with that. And then we're, we're moving on to something else. Uh, am I missing anything? Well, I think about um, how it was kind of dilapidated mm-hmm. and um, it was their shelter, their home. Right. Mm-hmm. And this is this is they're leaving that part of it behind to get to something new. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just the, the, of course, I think of Luther Vandross when you talk about a house is not a home. There's no one there to turn. to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that that, mm-hmm. that wasn't their home. But, you know, it just it served its purpose for then. And then, like you said, they just mm-hmm. they were moving on to, to create something different. There's a one thing that I think that uh, my if I wear my tinfoil hat, um, the re- one of the reasons why they left the house, well, A, well, left the tent, A, because it's probably difficult to, to tear down, mm-hmm. but there's a storm coming. Oh. There's a storm coming, and it's like, let's let's just leave this, and let's get our, you know, circle the our wagons, unit. and before whatever happens happens uh and i'm i don't like that well (laughs) it's true though i know i know but here's here's my reason why i think in this this is going to be really pivotal is because this season has 10 episodes in it and so i think typically when you have an episode that's a little bit lovey-dovey or whatever it is like it's just like typical hollywood tropes if you're watching a gangster movie and there's a and there's a wedding the funeral is going to be right around the corner. I mean, somebody's about to die, right? Something something horrible is about to unfold. So I'm feeling like we're getting ready to prepare for that. But I think Earn and his family are going to be okay. I don't know. This is the series finale. So I I don't know. I feel like something is coming. But, I, but like we said, that's just what we always feel when we watch yeah. the show. Yeah. Um, but now that you mentioned the storm, I'm like, something is definitely yeah, coming. Yeah, something's coming. Dang. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Why are you on that note? I was all in love. Uh, no, we are. Love is all right, though, but oh. we still need some good story. We need a little oh bit of conflict God. to Sunny keep some good story. Days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us. This has been an absolute blast. Yo, uh, please be nice in the comments. Let us know what we got right. What we got wrong, we do read them. Uh, and of course, uh, check out Michael Claire. Huh? Snooty Vegans, check me out. Check me out. Snooty Vegans is my YouTube page, Lock Journey. Uh, vegan Lifestyle, Life as You Know It. Link in the description. All of that. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> and of course, uh, give us those thumbs up because that's how the people know you are digging what we are giving. That being said, we will catch you in the next episode. Peace.